up and good day gamers a formal bust here with halo spartan assault a first impression but first we have our sponsor h2o drink it up or die now let's get into it halo spartan assault was released back in april of 2014 developed by vanguard games and 343 industries published by xbox game studios its description on Steam is Halo Spartan Assault brings the excitement of Halo Combat to Steam for the very first time. Battle your way through 30 action packed missions against the Covenant as you explore the origin of the Spartan Ops program. Featured in Halo 4. Direct X, feature level 11 required. <laughs> Listed for 2.99 United States dollars. And its tags are action, top-down shooter, sci-fi, and single player. Okay, so we got a tutorial. We will probably be skipping that. I'm sure it's top-down shooter. You know how hard. Uh, let's see. We got achievements. So, yep. Different achievements. Different medals. Leaderboard. Oh, well. Yeah, if someone's got three million and the next highest one is 174, someone's found an exploit or is glitching the game. So, that's nice to see. Uh, but there's leaderboards if you care about that. Um, and Assault Ops. Okay, so challenges that are either mission or weekly, but it looks like they've given up on the weekly one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, medals. Oh, so that just brings me back to the medal and everything. Okay, and then... Okay, so settings. Okay. Hmm. Oh, of course I can't play operation. Yeah, I gotta do introduction. Okay. Uh, input method, it looks like we have controller and mouse, and either that's all you're allowed to do, or since it only picks up my controller and mouse, it won't let me switch over to controller, which is totally fine. Subtitles on off, music and sound, very lax on audio. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Disappointing. Okay, so you got refresh rate, anti aliasing, and resolution. That's all you got. Okay. Very lackluster on your settings. Alright. Let's get started then, since there's not much in the main menu and settings to go over, so let's just jump on into it. Loading up records for the Battle of Drathius V. The fighting started when a splinter sect of Covenant ignored the ceasefire of 2552 and attacked UNSE forces. By the time the fighting was done, well, it didn't end well for the UNSC or the Covenant. Either one. Spartans Davis and Palmer were both stationed on Drathius V's moon at the time of the first attack. Let's see how they succeeded in repelling the first assault waves. Very, very low. Um, okay, so that was the operation with the quick assault. So, let's get into A then. The Northern Covenant of X-50, Drathius V's moon, was riddled with large ice-covered sinkholes, where the UNSC conducted a number of research projects while they were they While there were standards to put in place, no one was prepared when a massive fleet of Covenant spirits appeared over the moon in direct violation of the Human Covenant Treaty of 2552. Spartan Davis deployed on site. Well, deployed to site CF-32 to support the project's security detail, who were overwhelmed by the set attack. Davis managed to block the assault and move to secure Alpha facility, which he assumed was the inevitable target of the evasion force. Okay. Alright. So, that's the first one. Um, got, you know, 10,000 copper, 20... Okay, so you have star ratings. No S tier, though. Oh! So I can change my... And I can do skulls, which I guess... So... Spartan only has a shield. Spartan... Shields and armor to leave when firing weapon. No drop weapons have much less ammo. Shields are recharged from melee attacking enemies. Enemies are more challenging. But it'll have enemies. So that's nice. They have some skull system here. 
primary. Okay. All right, so that's how they do it. So I have limited amount of XP that I can spend. Although, is that all I can get? Oh, so it's only active during my next mission. So, all right, armor ability, regen field. You know, I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that, that seems fine. Although, secret drone seems interesting. An explosive, no, no, never mind. Auto sentry's cool too. Okay, so, they got some cool stuff in here. Booster! Shield booster. Okay. And, of course, score booster, so if you didn't want to actually do a ton of effort. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. I have, for some reason, on 1,250 XP, so we'll do that, and, uh, yeah. Assault rifle and rocket launch. Let's go. Leads can dodge about anything you shoot their way. Luckily, secret drones don't care much for gymnastics. for space bar. So I don't have to reload. Oh, come in. Okay, yeah, so you just reach try from the beginning. Three quick load time I can see, and I can keep my... Uh, I can keep my, uh... Up to the last time. There'd be more tutorials, but maybe that was in the tutorials. Oh, okay. So I can't access settings, so I can't see my controls. Okay.
So I would call this like a halo light. I was kind of hoping for more of a uh, exploratory, you know, you can move around. Okay, so score wrap up at the end there. Mic bump coming in, sorry. Okay, so mirror mantle counter assault, X50's huge, huge, X50's huge stretches of ice. The mirror flats were flanked by towering ice cliffs. After ordering their main Wraith Battalion to assault to research facility Alpha, Covenant had quickly deployed Phantoms to set up supporting artillery along the Eastern Cliff. With this artillery operational, the UNSC counter counteroffensive would be suicide. This would be facility of tar target Sp Spartan Palmer. The detachment of Marines were sent to infiltrate the Covenant positions and destroy the plasma artillery, navigate the maze. Cracks covering the mirror mantle ridge would have been would have been insurmountable challenge for most soldiers, but Palmer was able to use the terrain to her advantage and surprise the artillery positions. Her victory is instrumental in giving Alpha facility a fighting chance. Okay. Once again, uh, I'm gonna stick with. Yeah, it's interesting. I only got those three weapons, which kind of sucks in my opinion. You know, I mean, those are all other than rock. I mean, even rocket launchers. You know just fires until it explodes. No shock or anything, it seems, but... Nothing better for flushing something out of cover than... Okay. Alright. Maybe this... Maybe, yeah, this looks like I'll have more chance to explore the area. Okay. So, I guess it's just based on mission types. Some mission types, you're told to just, you know... Oh, can I... E... Okay, so E is interact. Okay. Alright, so they've altered this to so how it should be. Let's see if we have destructible. Okay, alright, so things are destructible. Nice. Ease interact. No. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably pick up. E? Okay, yeah, E to pick up. Alright, yeah, let's bust the enemy weaponry for once. main campaign, Covenant weapons are energy based, so you have to worry about replacing them with, you know, ones that have energy. Whereas this, okay, so it only has 200 capacity, so pretty low compared to the...
believe that is how you run around with them. Okay, so I can't have a charge of Alright. That so seems to have stripped. This game seems to have stripped a lot of the mechanics that we have left to add. Or just a top down shooter. You know, the shoot. And I can't jump either. UNSC's research facility Alpha was constructed at the base of an ancient forerunner structure re recently discovered by the UNSC. It became clear the covenant were headed for the forerunner structure. UNSC command feared Alpha facility would be crushed. The covenant were relying heavily on dropship insertion, and Spartan Davis realized they would be vulnerable to focused anti aircraft fire, so he began establishing air defenses west of the Alpha facility at a location designated. Glacial Perch. Unfortunately, the Covenant had identified the need to secure this area, and when Davis Law arrived, Glacial Perch was sworn with friends and elites. Alright, let's take it out. Yep, we're gonna stick the same. I haven't tried the pistol. Oh, can I? Can't get in it. It seems like that's our answer here that we're trying to get in. Alright. Hostile! Show sure. Okay, so this is very much. This is very much. A, a
Jeff. Right. the UNSC forces successfully so slowed the Covenant. Enemy numbers were, f were too great to halt their advance and definitely con continuous stream of Covenant infantry, wraiths, and air support moving towards reach, uh, towards research facility Alpha. And we concluded that returning to the main facility would be useless. Spartan Palmer began fighting her way upstream through the invasion in an attempt to reach one of the northern outposts. Her plan was to destroy Covenant air support and give the UNSC Hornets a chance to land near the outpost. The ultimate goal was to get off the X-50 and warn Drathius V of the Covenant invasion. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, this is what I have this time. So, so Sprint. Okay. Okay, so it seems possible that... Okay, I still only have the same upgrade options. Same here. So it seems my weapon loadouts will change throughout the campaign of the story. If you get hold of a plasma grade, you could stick it just about anything, including a Boom. Oh, let's see how vehicles work other than just turrets. Okay, what do we got here? We have a... We got a turret. Okay. Nice. But... Nice work, dog! Okay. We gotta destroy anti-air raids. Oh, not that way.
the wraith. Taking the wraith. No. Okay. Out. There we go. Finished. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, I think we're gonna do A5 and then, because there's like. What is it? Yeah. It's like about five missions. About six. Yeah. Six six uh, operations. Five missions each. About 30 little bite-sized missions. Doesn't seem too bad. The Northern, co the, <laughs> the Northern Continent of X-50, Drathus Fies Moon, was riddled with large ice-covered sinkholes. Oh, wait. I'm on A1 again. We're going A5 is what we want. Last stand within an hour. Their rival at X-50, the Covenant owned the moon, but despite the ferocity of the assault by X-50, the UNSC uh, base on Drathus 5 had no idea anything was afoot because the planet's unique magnetic resonance frequency made all four of okay, nearly impossible. While Spartan Davis fought to hold the line of X-50, Spartan Palmer executed her plan to depart Drathus 5 and warned them of the inevitable Covenant invasion of the colony. Palmer ordered Marines in the area to fall back to the Hornet, Landing zones, only six Marines made it there alive. They held out against an overwhelming Covenant force until Palmer managed to escape. Hey, look, there's, there's, I get, I get a shotgun finally. So, definitely does, yeah, you definitely do. Weapon loadout is dependent on, you know, exactly what mission you're on. Brute Chiefs fight as barbaric as they look, one hit from that hammer, and you end up a puddle of bones. And Enemy is on the move!
Davis continued fighting on the moon, Spartan Palmer and a handful of UNSC troops redeployed to the surface of Drathius V to fend off the invaders there. Outmanned? Outgunned? Spartan Palmer didn't see it as a problem. How about you? So yes, very, very, very decent. So you get little cutscene at the beginning of every operation. Six operations in total, I think I said that, in five missions. Yeah, this is very Halo light, top-down shooter. Um, I mean, the missions are a little small, you know? I mean, they're bite-sized though, which is to be expected from a port from a uh, mobile game. <laughs> but it's decent enough, uh, and if you think it's worth the price for uh, the game time you can get out of it, go for it. I'm going to leave it right here. I've enjoyed what I've played so far. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Feel free to do all the stuff. I've been a formal bust. As always, take care and drink some H2O.